on the beat. Good morning everyone and welcome back to my YouTube. So this morning I am rushing. When am I not late? I'm actually going for brunch with a few girls. I'm gonna vlog the experience. I'm gonna put in a few videos and stuff, but I am running late. I'm gonna quickly show you my outfit, but I am so excited for brunch. I'll show you my outfit quickly because I only got it this morning an hour ago and it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I'll leave everything where I bought everything in the screen so you can see it. I have this cute little blue top, denim skirt, varsity jacket, and you can see dunks. And then I'm just wearing my supreme denim bag. So I'm gonna vlog the experience and I'll talk to you when I'm there. Bye. It is absolutely lashing and I can't see because my eyelash glue is running my eyelash glue is running um, down my face into my eyeballs and it burns it's lashing running please save me if you were thinking about going outside today in London please don't it is lashing raining I have been walking around London trying to get home because I had to leave the girls because um, I work now and look at my hair no, this wet hair. Like, how am, I meant, how am I meant to dry this hair in 20 minutes and get to work in 20 minutes? I can't. I repeat, if you were thinking about going outside in London today, please don't. It is absolutely lashing. Okay, so I'm just ready for work now. It's kind of sad how literally half an hour ago I was drinking cocktails and now I'm going into work to give them to people. So this video, I know the start was really, really quick because I was in a rush. As always, I don't know what's wrong with me since I moved to London, I'm always in a rush. I'm usually a very organized person and it's starting to stress me out how unorganized I've become over here. This video is gonna be like a week with me. So over the next few days, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be up to. Today is Saturday, so this morning I had brunch and I'm working until like two o'clock in the morning tonight, which is not ideal, but I'm off for like three or four days now. Um, so I'll definitely be up to something and I'm gonna vlog it for you, but I need to go to work now. So I will see you later. I don't mind working tonight because it's lashing. It's just the fact that I have to go on the scooter to work now. It's not ideal, but I will talk to you tomorrow when I'm on my day off. Also, I got a little necklace that has Luke's initial on it, just so you know who owns, who owns this. Morning everyone, it's currently 3 a.m. in the morning.
Hey everyone, so I have made it to Ibiza, but I'm gonna give you a quick room tour. Yes, I'm already in a bikini. Um, I can't believe I'm here. I was never so excited to see my mom. Oh my god. I have so much to update you on, but I'm gonna be going to the pool um, now, which I literally have a view of the pool right now. My mom, her other room has a view of the beach. So we have the best of both worlds for our pictures, but I'm going to show you our room now. Okay, so you go in the door and you have this little kitchen over here. Look at the fridge. It's like this like 90s vibe fridge. Oh my god. And it's fully stocked. Fully. I'm actually gonna die. I'm gonna die. And then this is like the kitchen area. This little dressing room area. Hi, that's me. So then over here is the bed. And then we have like this little sink area. Hi, me again. Shower. Oh my god, look at that. And then the toilet. I love how everything is so divided. I wish this was my apartment in London, to be honest. But um, this is the bed. Wait till you see the view. the water and that's my mum over there like can you go and then over here is like this cute little dressing area where you can hang up your stuff safe but I can't cope I can't cope I have not been on a sun holiday since 2019 2018 so time it's time for me to shake my ass on a yacht so as you're all probably aware I came from London um later on i'll update you on like everything i needed to do to get the eye beat down and stuff but i have no clothes i have a few outfits and stuff but i have nothing new because i didn't plan on coming and i could only imagine if i had proper outfits how bomb my pictures would be but i'm gonna do my best but this is my mom's bikini um i'm gonna be using her bikinis and i'm gonna go buy some this evening as well um but yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy my day. I'll insert some videos of what I get up to. Um, it was mad. The Wikiboo Hotel van came and collected me at the airport. I felt like the best thing going. I felt like the best thing going. My lips are still so, so red. I ran out, I dropped my Vaseline down the toilet and I had the driest lips ever and now they're just literally raw, raw. But anyways, I'm gonna go enjoy my day and I'll let you know if I get up to anything and I'll talk to you later. Vlog. Vlog. You can tell everyone where your outfit's from? Um, I got this in the sale in River Island. It's a little two piece. Cord. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hi guys. I hope you enjoyed that little clip of my mum. What is that beeping noise? Oh my god, I have that. I have that glow of holiday makeup. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that little clip of my mum. Obviously, as you can tell, she would not be the best vlogger. I'm finally getting a chance to wear this outfit. Look at the evening. It is after turning into a such we're turning into such a nice evening. Oh my god, I need to get a picture over there anyways. I was feeling like pure shit earlier because my camera on my phone is so so bad and I missed Luke's phone so bad and I could not get nice bikini pictures and then my mom's friend has the iPhone 12 Pro Max and got an unreal picture of me in the sun in my bikini and I was like, now I feel better. And I have a cute outfit on, so this is from Zaffel. Um, I'll show you a bit of a better clip of it so this is my outfit i am absolutely feeling myself we're actually going into like the old town in ibiza now for dinner and i'll let you know what we got to get up to i know i'm not really talking much but tomorrow when i get a chance i'm gonna sit down and talk to you a bit about me coming over but right now i'm just living in the moment bye
I am just casually sitting here in my gorgeous room in my wiki woo hotel bathroom robe it's actually like it's town material i thought it was gonna be like a dressing gown but there has to be some way i can bring it home to me in london like because this is a need but it is currently 20 to 2 and i'm only getting a chance to talk to my camera now because i have just had the craziest busiest best day ever and i know you're probably watching this vlog and thinking girl how the fuck did this happen okay so basically what happened was my mom was going away for three nights four nights maybe were her friends and she was really drunk and she texted me and she's like oh my god i wish you were here you'd love this hotel this hotel is so you and keep in mind it has literally been my dream to come to this hotel um wiki Woon, i read that i i wanted to go for my birthday so so bad love it and anyway she was like oh are you working and i was actually turns out i was off work for four days and she was like i just booked you a ticket you're flying in four hours so i was in work until two o'clock in the morning i had to leave um my place my studio with luke in london at 4 a.m so i got home from work at 2 a.m 4 a.m i had to leave for the airport i had to get an uber i had to get the train from liverpool street to stansted airport i ended up vomiting my heart out all over my sliders at half four in the morning at liverpool street because i had like 40 minutes sleep and i hadn't ate all day and does anyone else get like that where you just if you wake up really early and you can't function properly and you haven't ate that you just get sick but that was me that was me i know you're probably watching this vlog and being like did this vlog start from going from brunch to it being an ibiza vlog this is a crazy life with me ibiza vlog literally i am obsessed with the place i know i'm only going to be here for two nights but i am weak i am actually the pictures i've got everything I am living the best life. The cocktails here are insane as you can probably see from all the clips in this video. I don't know what is going on with my life but I feel like the main character right now. I'm just going to give you a little bit of how I got to Ibiza. Obviously I am vaccinated. I am a vaccinated queen. If you're not vaccinated, probably should. Um, basically got my QR code. When I got on in Stansett in London they asked me they were like oh, are you vaccinated i flew it right now by the way they're like are you vaccinated i was like yep yeah. and they're like okay go on and i was like you don't want to see my vaccine sir do you not want to see my qr code but then when i got to i read that they were very strict at the airport one girl like had her mask a little bit down and like one of the security snapped at her and i was like oops um i you can get your you have to have your qr code you need to have a negative covid test or be fully vaccinated with your vaccine cert and then you're good to go very very easy i was stressing so much i was like oh, there's so much to do but there really really isn't and tomorrow i'm going to ocean beach which i cannot wait for i have a really nice bikini but i really wish i had like a proper outfit because you know like the green wall i saw at first I need to get a bomb picture. I need to get a bomb picture. Actually, a yellow warning right now is the problem. It's very windy outside. It's kind of starting to rain. It's meant to be cleared up by the morning, but I'm actually terrified to wake up. Tomorrow is like my last full day here, and the weather can't be bad. Like, I'm leaving Tuesday at lunchtime. I'm leaving Tuesday morning, actually, and it's meant to be like one of the hottest days, but I'm not gonna, I'm really going to see it. But I'm going to get up really, really early. I'm going to get up and watch the sun rise. That's what I'm gonna do. But it was so I was so excited to see my mum. You've probably seen the video um that I will insert of me and my mum being reunited after two months of being apart. It was actually like from the video, like it doesn't look like we were so but our faces, like we were so excited to see each other. It has been the first time in over a year that me and Luke have had a night apart and it was really sad saying goodbye to him, but sorry love, but I'd be as calling me. There's like this huge um disco ball that's filled with like cocktails that we got earlier today in wiki woo oh my god probably the best thing i've ever ever tasted if you were coming here please do get that there's also like this huge watermelon like an actual fruit watermelon with like a uh, cocktail poured into that and i will be getting that tomorrow as well but anyways it's getting late i really hope you are enjoying this vlog with me because i'm having the best week ever best week ever Anyways, good night and I will talk to you in the morning. Hey everyone. Why do I look 
dead. We went and had breakfast this morning. It was actually unreal. And we are going to Ocean Beach today. Um, I'm so excited because there's so much like I saw at first posters and I were really cool bikini and wedges and stuff and I only had a bomb picture but it was absolutely lashing last night and we didn't think today was going to be a nice day but it actually is a really really nice day okay so hi everyone I am going to Ocean Beach today and I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit because the taxi's outside um so this is my outfit and you already know you already know I got those Ocean Beach wedges on but I will I'm gonna bring my camera I'm gonna vlog and show you, and I can't wait to get a bomb ass picture. Bye! Hi everyone, as you can probably tell from my background, I am home. I am back in London. I'm kind of happy to be back. I think I brought the good weather with me because it's been really sunny. I am feeling a bit fluey because whenever I come home from holidays, no matter where I go, from a hot country to a cold country again, my body's like, whoa, what the fuck is going on? But um, I had the most ex amazing experience in Ibiza. We went to Ocean Beach, we stayed at WikiWoo, as you can probably tell from the vlog. It feels like a dream. I was literally there for two nights, so it literally just feels like a dream will i fly again by myself no traumatized honestly traumatized it said nowhere um especially when i moved from ireland to england you did not need a locator form and online it said nothing about a locator form going from ibita to london so i didn't fill it out there was me i was in the airport i just i was so early for the airport that i had a nap in the airport for an hour and then something was telling me to go to my gate early so i went to the gate early and i was like one of the first people on the queue to get on the plane got onto the plane do you have your locator form keep in mind now i did not fill out my locator form coming from london to ibiza because my mom done it because she was afraid i'd put in something wrong and something like this would happen my heart sunk i started shaking my eyes filled up i was like um no um i'm vaccinated and she's like yeah but you need a locator form so she was being quite rude to be honest but the other air hostess like scanning the board and passes were being really nice to me and i he, they put me to the side and i had five minutes the gate was closing in five minutes to fill out the locator form and you know when there's a timer on something i can't do it my hands were shaking i couldn't put i couldn't remember my address couldn't even remember my date of birth to be honest and my i like i couldn't type my hands were shaking and there was a man in the queue behind me and he just comes up to me he was like it's gonna be okay it takes literally i had no idea how long it was going to take i thought the email would take ages to get a qr code I was stressed. I was like, I'm not gonna make my flight, not gonna make my flight. And the fella just came over could he see how panicking. I was panicking. I don't care who the fuck was looking at me. I was scared shitless. He came over, he was like, come on, it's okay, just calm down. It'll literally only take three minutes to fill out the form. This is how you do it. And I was like, thank you so much. And that 
man that probably got on the plane I didn't see him again so he's probably wondering did I make my flight but I did so yeah you do need a locator form apparently now going from Ibiza to London um, I didn't really know anything about what a locator form one is basically it's very very simple to fill out stress over but um, I do, my brain wouldn't function with questions like all these questions and stuff and I had to keep going up to the nice air hostess I was like um, do you know what this means because I'm stupid and he was like it's okay it's okay calm down and I got it and I got onto the plane and I bawled my eyes out. I was roaring, crying in my seat. I had my mask like over my eyes, so I don't think anyone heard me. If you did hear me, sorry about that. And then to make things worse, I, when I got onto the plane, I was late. I was the last person on the plane and there was somebody sitting in my window seat. And I was like, you know what, I really don't be, I'm not able for a fight now if someone's saying, oh my God, you're in my seat or whatever. So I just sat on the island. I've never sat on the island airport in my life. It was kind of depressing. I like looking at the window. But I, I wasn't, I was too grateful that I even got on the plane to be like, yo, you're in my seat. I had the most amazing, amazing time. I don't know if there's much of me talking in this video because I really just want to enjoy the moment as much as I can. So I was just putting snippets, little montages of me in Ibiza. But this was a crazy spend the week with me vlog. I'm not this spontaneous all the time. But I had a great time at the start of the vlog going for brunch with the girls in, in Shoreditch, in Barrow. And I'll leave all the information there on the screen. Um... And then a quick spontaneous trip to see my mom after two months of not seeing her. And my mom is coming to London at the end of the month. I was so, so happy to see my mom after like two months. And the only thing I missed though is I didn't get a chance to get paella. And paella is my dream in Spain. It's like the only thing that makes me happy in Spain is paella. Um, but one of the restaurants we went to thinking that they, it, they would have it and they didn't. And then the last night we were just in Ocean Beach and stuff having a laugh and I made friends. I made friends. I made friends. I'm after like, I don't know who I'm after becoming in the last few months, but I'm after getting very confident with talking to people. And if you know me, I can't talk to a wall. Like I, I can have a laugh with my friends and I'm like outgoing or whatever. But when it comes to making new friends, I can't do it. But... I've made friends in London, I've made friends in Ibiza, do you know what, I'm getting there and the more friends I make the more easier I realise it is and I just need to grow up here and just live my life because I probably had one of the best weeks of my life um, when it comes to London and being in Ibiza but I really hope you liked this little spontaneous week with me and I hope I'll see you back on my YouTube soon and let me know what you want to see next. Bye guys!